Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James. And about a week ago, I posted something on the community forums, a question and answer thing, asked me some questions. So I'm going to go over that now. So starting at the bottom, scrolling up to the newest, Green Toothpaste 193 asks, after the Rick show, do you think they'll continue expanding the world of The Walking Dead or just stop? I think, um, and I answered a couple of these because uh, they came through the comment section and I was just like answering like normal, like, oh no, this was a QA. and a I'm supposed to answer these in the video. But I answered already, I said, I do think they will keep some The Walking Dead Universe content going after The Rick Show. And we already know that to be true because Daryl, Dead City, uh, Daryl Dixon Season 2, Dead City Season 2, both of those will be coming out after the Rick show, and I think they could have additional seasons. I think we may get somewhat of a season 12, a reunion type thing. The way it's all been set up, it doesn't look like Rick will have a reunion with everybody or Michonne. I mean, it just, I don't know, one or the other may die and the other may make it back to Commonwealth. But it's just hard to see how they're going to tie all that together if there's not more seasons of The Rick Show. Of course, we know they're doing the next generation thing. They just have so many kids. Of course they are. They're definitely setting up a next generation. They've already shown us that through some stuff they were trying to shoot at one point at the end of season 11. But of course, I think we all know that the money, um, if they want to make a cash cow out of this and give us some more content, go backwards instead of forwards. You know, instead of the next generation, which we could still have or whatever but follow someone else from the beginning, you know, uh, take a different path, maybe cross, you know, they saw the sign for Terminus and once they crossed it, it was already burned out uh, and they were heading out West or something, a different direction than Rick, you know, just give us something from the initial days. And I think that would be cool. Juro 8554, why is Merle so underrated? I don't think he is so much. Um, I think a lot of people like the character. Uh, I think a lot of people like the actor. Um, I like Merle. Um, I don't think he is so much. Uh, no one recognizes his greatness and it infuriates me. I think a lot of people do. Um, th those who don't just maybe don't get the character or don't like the actor. Maybe. I don't know. And this is a question from um, Hunt-TQ7KS that is kind of the same question as the first one. After the ones who live and Fear the Walking Dead, you think they'll make more spinoffs or maybe do a TWD season 12? And I think I kind of answered that. The Big Plant will ask, what are your personal theories to Daryl Dixon season two? And do you think that Daryl is going to stay in France by the end of the series? It does look like he might, just depending on if there's a season 12 type thing where there's a reunion. You know, uh, will he have to assist the help of Rick, maybe Rick or Michonne and CRM, uh, Civic Republic, because now they've kind of rooted out the bad people like Major General Bill. And they know that, hey, uh, this lady in France is wanting to destroy America. We need to fight against her and it all come together somehow. As far as Daryl Dixon season two specifically, I think it'll be mostly about Carol and about her and Daryl getting together toward the end of the series. And, you know, just Carol's journey pretty much. I think it'll be most of Daryl Dixon season two. Fants 21, Othwise 9, uh, ask if the future Walking Dead show ends, will you think that the end Rick will wake up from the hospital and it was all a dream? I do not. That's a cool theory, but... You know, just like uh, the meth from Breaking Bad starting the whole thing. Really cool theory. Not r real, not true. Uh, Rick won't wake up and it'd be all a dream. You know, cool theory. I wish he would uh, wake up. I wish Morgan would wake up and he had just left Rick and everybody thinking he went to Texas and met all these people and really didn't. You know, I wish all of uh, Fear the Walking Dead season four through eight could be a dream somehow, but Aaron Passetti asked, why didn't we get to see Virgil a lot in the final season? He came back but disappeared again. I think a lot of that, one, was the writing, but two, the actor had already got some other work. So I think that's part of it. A lot of off-screen reasons for some of the stuff that happens in really every TV show. Fat Man TV asked, do you think Andrew and Denai would ever agree to come back after The Ones Who Live ends? And it really depends on how that plays out in the story and what happens. You know, if one of them dies, of course, they're not coming back. Uh, and it depends on if one of them lives, how, you know, would they come back if it's Michonne? I don't know if Denai would come back too much, except a little maybe appearance here or there. Uh, Rick may die. That's just a feeling, gut feeling I get. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's hard to say. Brian Akeem 
2670 asks, do you think it's possible that we don't get the reunions in the TWDU due to the different spinoffs, timeline issues, and actor-actress availability or quitting? Oh, and incompetent writers. Yes, all of the above. I think, you know, through the other questions, I've kind of answered that. Depends on what happens to Rick as far as the reunion thing. Um, even if something does happen to Rick, we still could get a possible season 12-ish type little series of some kind um, called something else, of course. But a lot of questions, I think, really depends on what happens to Rick. Sake off 2275 says, I'm really interested about the beginning of the outbreak and how Major City falls and do flashback about the military and the city and how she faced walkers and the story of Soldier at the Tank and Navy. So, yeah, uh, I get what you're saying. And I think, like I said, I've answered that and talked about that already and answering the other questions. I think that's where the cash cow would be. I think that's where people would fans would come back to the show. And, you know, it would just help tremendously if they could do it right, of course, but do a early days, uh, a good, good story, you know. Dog Brain Video says, I think I'm one of the minority who'd like the ones who live to be one season. Round off Rick's arc and let him rest. Do you agree? Well, of course, I like The Walking Dead show. Rick's my favorite character. I wish he would continue and there would be stories, but I know it has to end one day. So this is a good point for it to do that if it needs to. Um, and because of the, what happened in the comic, it just everything seems to be leading that way. Do I want it to be? I wish it could be a little more. I mean, you know, just because I love the story, I love the, the character, Rick. But if it needs to be, I'm there. Joaquin Zubiaga 9413, and I know I'm butchering all this stuff, but y'all just have to go with me. Does Father Gabriel have any future in the Walking Dead universe? I don't think so. You know, there's a rumor one point about an Aaron spinoff, and if that happens, Father Gabriel should and could be in that, whatever that is. So it's hard to see Father Gabriel showing up in a spinoff unless there's an endgame game type movie series whatever you know where everyone has to come in and fight and have their little moment mf doom 1898 ask how do you personally feel about diversity inclusion and equity in or equality infiltrating the company hiring producers and writers based on gender and skin color instead of meritocracy and I've owned a business myself. I've worked. I do a lot of B2B, business-to-business type uh, work as far as for businesses and consulting and stuff. And just overall, I guess, uh, in addition to my personal feelings, um, you should have the skills if you're being hired. You know, an employer don't want to hire someone that doesn't have skills to do the job, and they shouldn't be made to for whatever reason. So I do believe in diversity and inclusion and equality for all. I do believe in that. You can still have that. You should be able to maybe do it and still find someone skilled, but still uh, practice the diversity and stuff in the, in the company. Um, but yeah, I understand everybody's got different views of that. And it goes into your political views and religious views and things get really messed up when you start talking about stuff like that. But as far as me, I do believe in um, diversity, all that stuff, but also believe in you should have the skills to do the job. T-E-N-N-Y-C-E-B. Don't know how to pronounce that, but is Judith coming back? No. Well, you know, as far as a reunion thing, you know, that's the big question. It, it depends on what happens to Rick. Do I think she's coming back in the ones who live no, you know, there could be that last episode where Rick makes it back to Commonwealth and, and meets Judith and find or meets RJ and, and gets back with Judith and, you know, reunites and all that kind of stuff. I just don't know if they're going to have time for that and if it would be included. So I don't know if Judith's coming back. If Judith comes back, it may be later uh, and even a re possible recast if it's uh, like a next generation show. The Real Ethan Plush Studios ask, who do you think will be alive at the end of TWD, if anyone? I mean, you know, the end of The Walking Dead's already happened, so if you mean the end of everything, you know, I don't know. Um, I think Daryl and Carol will live. I think Negan and Maggie will live. I think Aaron and Father Gabriel, you know, they lived at the end of The Walking Dead. If they're shown in anything else, I think they'll live. I think mainly the people that you've seen, if we lose someone major, it would be Rick or Michonne at this point, I think. Mary M-NC9JI ask, uh, do you think Laurent followed Daryl or you, do you think that was a vision? And that's a very good question because so many people were split on that. 
I kind of think both, you know, when I think about it, like it could be real. That's something the kid would do. Um, but at the same time, Daryl was having that moment, you know, of, hey, there's a boat. That's the boat. Maybe take me take me out of here. And he looks back the other way and he sees the kid as a vision. Yeah, it could go both ways. If I had to gamble and bet on something right here in this moment, I would say, yes, it's real. At Mildred Morgan 7223 ask, does Daryl find Rick and does Carol bring Michonne all back together uh, for the end show? And I understand what the question is. Um, and I think I've answered that, like I said, in the other questions already. Um, since there's going to be a Daryl Dixon season two after uh, The Ones Who Live, it's hard to see how without a season 12, what we call a season 12, or what when I say a season 12, I really mean another spinoff series that would be the reunion thing. That would be, that's where Rick comes back in, Daryl comes back in, maybe Maggie Negan comes back in, and they have some type of big fight war going on. Something's happening where they need this extra spinoff to close it all, uh, close it all together as far as the reunion. So I don't know, man. It really depends on what happens in the ones who live, and we're getting so much closer to that and find out. At Warshotter, ask what would happen if Negan never killed Abraham. Well, if he had picked somebody else, then somebody else would have died and not Abraham. If it was just Glenn, maybe he just picked Glenn first and only killed Glenn. You know, Abraham would still be alive to fight an all-out war. I think uh, he would probably have been written as a death before all-out war ended. Uh, so I think he would have died anyway as far as how the story would have went or how the writers would have written uh, Abraham going forward. Hacksaw5150 asks, will you ever turn Bloodpath into a finished work such as a book short story? Um, probably not. I wish I could, wish I would, uh, those kind of things. Wish I could have the time to do it and it would be worthwhile to do it. Um, as far as the three parts, for an example, when I did the videos, I did uh, the Blood Path Diary. It was a little fan fiction short story thing. I did three little short videos. A whole bunch of people watched the first one. About half that many watched the second one. And about half as many on the second one watched the third one. So, you know, you just got to do when you take a lot of time and you put a lot of time and effort into something and you see, yeah, people kind of watched it but then didn't you know it didn't keep their attention as if as many people would watch the first part as the third part i would said hey people kind of like it and i'll continue the story maybe but you know it just didn't have the numbers and you know it's just that type of thing um a lot of fans out there i've been trying to push some links and stuff of some fans also doing some fan fiction stories and you know not a lot of whether it be them or other people I've seen around the internet, they just don't get a lot of traffic and stuff. So you got to, you know, look at how much time am I putting into this versus what am I going to get out of it? And yes, it's fun to write that story. I sure wish I could finish it out because I think it would be cool as hell that uh, Dr. Jenner had a son and you're following him from the beginning and um, stuff like that. And you know what happened to his dad and he don't, you know, so uh, all this time you you know kind of what happened and He's trying to get to Atlanta, so I think that would be pretty cool, you know. The Governor 2003, do you think they will merge everything into a spinoff? Do you think Daryl's going to stay in France? And I've answered those questions, I think. Uh, I wish, I hope they do a, a Season 12 type thing. You know, I hope it is. there is an end game or whatever uh, Gimple comes up with. I really hope there is. I just don't know how it's going to play out. Uh, Rocco Kosuckster 7062, like I say, I'm not saying he's right, but I would love to see other spinoffs in the universe with no connection to the main story, but it would have to be well done. Thoughts? Um, my thoughts on that, I think I've answered too. Uh, it would be great. It'd be great to follow somebody else in the spinoff, especially uh, early days. No connection to the main story, even if, you know, I think I said earlier, if they cross Terminus, you know, but they were heading out west, they don't even have to do that. It doesn't even have to have any Easter eggs or anything like that. If it was done well, like you say, yeah, that would be great. And I hope they do that one day. Drunky Monkey 1995 asks, what are your top three favorite lines from any show of the Walking Dead universe if you had to pick them right now? Oh, there's so many. There's so many characters that I like, and I like their lines, um, you know, Rick, Abraham, Merle, even. I really liked Merle's line, how about a hug for your old pal Merle. I liked Rick's line, one word. He said, what? He had a bloody face, and he turns around and looks at everybody. He's like, what? 
I like some of Daryl's lines from the first season about olive oil and on Golden Pine talking about uh, Lori and Dale. Just so many. Abraham, of course, has some of the best lines. And there's so many. More than three. It's got to be my favorite. It's hard to pick just three. Man Under the Dumpster asks, how many people are left in the rest of the world in places like Asia or South America? And we just don't have enough information, just don't know really. Um, as far as Asia goes, there was a book that was written, set there, that uh, I read a chapter or two, I think it was. Um, so I don't know. I need to get back on that and read that. And uh, there's just not enough information, I think, about the rest of the world. Maybe we'll learn some more in the upcoming spinoffs. And the last question, Tiger Lily asked, what do you imagine Fear the Walking Dead would look like if the Erickson era had continued? Do you think TWD characters would still cross over? And that's a really good question. I'm not sure that Morgan would have crossed over because I think Madison would have lived, so they would have still had that storyline going. Morgan would have just have been a, a major character. They would have had to fit into it extra. So he might have got his own spinoff, or he might have, I think, would have stayed on The Walking Dead main show. Dwight and Sherry could have been fit into Fear the Walking Dead after Daryl kicked Dwight out and said, don't come back, I'll kill you. You know, so I could see Dwight and Sherry maybe fitting in, but not Morgan. So what would have it had looked like? I think it would have followed his plan and Madison would have kind of become a villain. Would she have got redeemed? How would it play out in the end? I'm not sure, but I, it would have been a totally 110% different show i think but hey those were your questions those were my answers and uh you know if you got more questions if you got uh thoughts about any of these questions and answers let me know down in the comments below and you know i'll join you there this is james in nashville as always thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff